So who was the movie really about? Was it about the little girl or was it about the ifs? <laughs> Guys, back on the cinema scale today, we are with if. After discovering she can see everyone's imaginary friends, a girl embarks on a magical adventure to reconnect forgotten ifs with their kids. The movie starts off very emotional. You get an idea of where this young girl, her life is developed and started, and you're able to be able to see the film progress. John Krasinski plays her father. He's a comedic, humorous, laid-back, playful dad. That's the role that John Krasinski plays. And then Ryan Reynolds plays Cal, a bitter seeming to be a manager trying to help the ifs find their place. And then throughout the film, you have Ryan Reynolds teamed up with this girl, Kaylee Fleming, whom is trying to help the ifs find their kids. And that seems good in theory, right? The film starts off very slow, okay? There is some sentimentality. There is some sentiments there that will have you say, wow, that's beautiful, that's that's a tearjerker. But then there's times in the film where you're trying to figure out what in the world is going on. Plot development all over the place. Character development at a very low point. There are moments in the film where I'm just trying to figure out, is the movie about the little girl, her father and mother, or the ifs? You think that you're going to connect with the characters under the umbrella of one theme and then something totally different is cultivated, which doesn't really make sense. The film is a bit rushed. Runtime is one hour and 44 minutes. And within that time frame, you have a lot of busyness on the screen, characters thrown all about, and such a shame because you have great all-star characters here Emily Blunt Steve Carell Aquafina uh, you have Christopher Maloney and then you just throw these characters together on screen and then you get the movie if the girl in the film actress Kaylee Fleming does not cause you to feel emotionally connected to the character so you're seeing this little girl on the screen at times she feels or it comes off a very scripted in the movie. There are no post credits at the end of the movie. So you aren't going to have to stick around the theater for any of that. But the movie does leave you feeling more confused and puzzled. Than drawn to the memories of having an imaginary friend. And then I'm thinking... Am I supposed to feel something at the end of the movie? Is there supposed to be some type of closure? Is there supposed to be some type of climax in connection with this film? Like, what is the goal of this movie, right? Not bad for a Ryan Reynolds movie. I mean, anything that Ryan Reynolds does, I'm all for it. But in this movie, he's really confined to a lot of one-liners. Like, and that's that. Or, I can smell it burning my eyes. What? Does anyone... Is anyone getting that? Moments in the movie that should have stirred up emotional consistency just goes up and down, up and down, up and down. To the point where you don't really know who's involved in this film. I feel like this is just imaginary friends. Foster home for imaginary friends. That's the kind of vibe I got from this movie. From the Cartoon Network cartoon. And then... Finally, they all come together and they accomplish something. And what was the purpose of these ifs? Where did they come from? What were they about? A lot of questions that go unanswered in this film, making it very difficult to be connected to the film and be able to build an emotional stamina with this particular movie. How did if make you guys feel? That was if on the cinema scale. Did it stir your emotions? Did it make you cry? Did it make you want to scream out? A few times I chuckled. How did you guys do with this movie? Don't forget to drop the comments in the box. And we'll catch you on the next Cinema Scale review. Peace out.